Hey guys, it's May May and welcome back to part two of this little mini album, which I am loving. You can see I've got all the tags put in. This is basically where we left off. However, I've done a couple of things and let me show you what I've done. I took this little guy out and I went ahead and did my place photo here stamp. And that comes from the action stamp set. That's this one that's in my store. So if you're interested in that, it's the place photo here. So there's plenty of those in the store right now. If you want to grab one, there's a link below to it. So I went through and I stamped the front and the back of those with place photo here but I have one that I haven't done because I was going to do that with you. And I'm using Distress Ink for this because I think it really lends itself to the color of the book instead of black. And so if you're not familiar with these, why you put these photos here, really this is for people if you're giving this as a gift so they'll know what this area is for. And this whole area is for photos. So I think that's kind of cool to have that little stamp there. And put that guy in. So all of those now say place photo here, but what do you see in there? There's something else, right? I also cut some little squares, and I'm going to do that with you, but I cut these little squares and did the stamp on them too. Let me show you what they are. I have one square that's cut at two and seven eighths by two and seven eighths, and then the orange square is three by three, and that way I get this little bitty matte edge around it. Now, I'm using orange for a couple of reasons. One is I love that I can pull it out of the color of the paper pad. And another is because that's one of the colors of my son's team, the orange. So I thought if I'm going to use this for him, that will be a perfect way to do that. So here's what I did. I just glued this one to this guy with that little bit of orange showing. Just like that. And you guessed it. I stamped it again. Still using the Distress Ink. That little dude there. This way, if for some reason I decide to give this away, because I could give this to my mom, and that would be a cute little keepsake for her to be able to put the boys' pictures into. I think that would be sweet too. But if I decide to, she'll know exactly what those areas are for. Now, I wanted to get ahead of the game by doing those because I want to work on the front cover, and I'm really excited about um, a couple of things that I came up with for the front cover. I'm going to see what you guys think. Let me know in the comments, but let's work on that now. So some of you know that my friend Gareth has a Facebook store where he sells jewelry fittings and different things for different projects, mostly mostly metal. His store is um, G's Metal Embellishment Emporium, and he has these little book, um, what are these, corner protectors? And I've had this extra set for a while, and I thought, what a cute place to use them. Now, if I'd have thought about this ahead of time, I would have put these on before I attached this, but I did a little dry fit, and they will slide in there. What I'm doing is putting it on that chipboard in the corner because I can't really put it here because this is a bag, right? But look how cute that is on there. I think that looks really professional and clean. So I'm going to add that there. Now, I've had luck in the past with using just my art glitter glue here. But if you wanted to use some E6000, you could certainly do that. But I just kind of load this up with some art glitter glue. And then I'm going to slide this on to that chipboard. If I had thought about this earlier, I certainly would have added this before I put the chipboard down. But hindsight and all... <laughs> So I'll sit that there. And fortunately, because it's sliding in there, it's really going to stay well. And that, doesn't that look good? I think that looks nice. So I'm going to put that there. And I'm going to load this one with some glue. This fine tip comes in very handy for this kind of stuff. Put that in there. Flip this guy over. Stick him onto this one. Like I said, I did a little dry fit to make sure this was going to work. And it did. This time I got a little hung, but we'll get it in there. There we go. I just think those make this album. And I got something else I'm going to show you too. I'm going to put it on the front and the back side. So this is the little mustache. I told you there was something else from Gear Store I thought about using. And I was going to put it right here, which I think it would be cute. But it just kind of doesn't work for me now. So I think I'm going to use this in a different project. But that's what I was going to use. So I'm just going to put that aside for now. And I'm going to use this um, twine to go up through here. Now, if you don't have um, like a big needle to be able to thread this through, you can take a piece of duct tape on the end of your um, twine. Because as it is, it won't go through my holes very well because it's kind of snug. And I'm just going to fold this over. So see how I folded that over? Then I'm going to cut it to a point just like this. And I basically just made myself a big needle. So once you got your needle, here's what you want to do. You want to feed it through the top. There's a reason for this. Or feed it through the front. Okay. Don't feed it through the back. There we go. We got it through that way. Then I'm going to feed it through the back, back to the front. This will make sense when I turn it over. So now we ran 
our twine through the correct way. See? All right. Now remember, this is the piece that's going to be the stopper for our tag since we didn't glue anything down. And I am probably just going to tie a knot here because it's a it's a boy's album. Let's look at a bow. I mean, a bow is okay considering that it's done in twine, but I think I'm just going to do a knot. Let's just see what it looks like. I just really think I like the knot. And then I'm just going to trim it here and here. And I just think that adds a little bit of something. And I know it doesn't look great, you know, but as we get going, we'll figure out other things we want to do to it. Let's work on the front of the album using some of the chipboard pieces. I love these pieces, and I've been studying on them. And I'm going to open this one up. I think these pieces are so pretty. They're perfect for this album. So after playing with all that, I found this frame that I really like. And I really even like the sentiment that was in it. It says, our greatest glory consists not in never failing, but in rising every time we fall. I think that's really cute. But I could also leave this out, and if I wanted to put a picture um, in there, I could. That would be super cute to, you know, cut out a picture and put behind there. But I think I'm going to use this. Now, something I don't love is I don't love these little, um, like, nibs that come off of this. You see those little things that come off whenever you pull them off the little paper pack? So I'm going to take a little piece of sandpaper and just sand those down. So here we go. They're good and sanded down. And now I think I'm just going to adhere this straight down to the front like so. So I got that really glued well. Just put that down. Let that catch for a second. Then I'm going to put this right in the middle. It came this way. I could have left them together, but I really wasn't sure I wanted to see if I wanted to leave it open or not, but I decided to put that piece in the middle. So I'm just going to glue that down. I really like that. I think that's a perfect way to do the cover. Super cute. All right, let's see what else we got. So this one's in the little pack too, and I like the way the orientation of it is up and down like this, and I think it's perfect for right here. Now it has a little hole right there, and I want to see if I have a brad or something I can put in there to kind of dress it up. This is just a brad from my stash, and it has like a little cog or a wheel in it, but I think it works okay. I'm just going to go ahead and put that through there to kind of cover up that hole, and then glue this guy down. I think that's looking really cute. I want something loose and kind of hanging, but I'm not sure what. Let me see what I've got. So I have this little piece that was also the chipboard piece, and it says All Star. I think it would be cute to hang it off of this to kind of have it loose and kind of hanging. And I'm going to use some of this Baker's twine to do that with. And I like to, I think I've told you guys this before, I like to kind of double or triple my Baker's twine because I think you get, well, hello, it came back. I think you get a better, um, a better look with your Baker's twine. It just looks richer and thicker. So I'm going to take it and just kind of, that's four times on itself there. And I'm going to feed it through this hole. And then where I've looped my Baker's twine on itself, I'm going to cut those open. Does that make sense? Because I just looped it and made these loops on the ends. So now that i got this all ready to go, I'm going to take this Baker's twine and put it underneath the knot and feed it up through. I know my fingers are in the way. I apologize, but I'll do it where you can see it when I get it out of there. Okay, so I've got the baker's twine under the knot and fed through, and I'm going to actually tie this on to the knot itself, like around it. Instead of tying it above it, I'm going to tie it on it. I think that'll look cool. Let's just see. Then I'm going to tie another knot. I'm avoiding bows, which you don't have to. I mean, you have to, the boys tie their shoes in a, in a bow, don't they? <laughs> All right, so let's trim this away. And then, see, I'll be able to write his name and what year it was on this little tag whenever I get ready to actually fill this guy up. That is cute as it can be. I like that little loose piece hanging that little tag. Super cute. Okay, let's see what else it needs. I love this sticker pack that comes that I got with it. I don't. This doesn't come with your paper pack, but it was sent to me. So um, Terry sent this to me when she sent me all the goodies. And so I want to use some of these stickers inside of the album, like this one that says, Take Me Out to the Ball Game. Now, I know that's baseball themed, but it's still a ball game, right? So I'm going to come in here and find some paper where it's not too decorative. Like this is a good one here. And I'm just going to put this down here at the bottom. 
So that way, whenever we put a picture on this one, we'll know to put it in this area instead of down here. And I'm going to keep looking through and just find places to add stickers. I can even add them kind of in this area around this side so that it doesn't overlap there. So like this piece right here, I love this that says good old sport on it. Oh, look, it's two pieces. I didn't realize that, so I'm going to stick them both down. And I'm going to put it on that piece that was all the numbers. That is cute. So let's just do this. And yeah, it'll take up this whole side, but it'll be cute because it'll be a nice little decoration in the book. Just like this. Peel this guy and put him back. Yeah, I like that a lot. That's cute. And let's say, oh, we can put something good here. Let's see. I like this Go Team tag because, you know, then I can do some journaling in here on it. Let's put that in there kind of like that. Don't you love these sticker sets? I do. I haven't always, but I sure like them for this kind of stuff because this is really, really handy. Look at this one. Perfect for some journaling on this side. And it's big, too. I like how big it is. That's cute in there. And then that's the back. I'm going to go through and add some little, like some of these smaller pieces in here. Let's see what we've got that we can add. I like this little, um, this little plaid scallop. Let's see where we can put it. I think we can put it right here. I'm having to hold this funny so you guys can see it too, but we're getting it done. I like this right here. That's fancy, isn't it? Now let's trim that away. Let's see if there's somewhere else I can put some while I got it out. Oh, let's put it on this black. That'll pop. Let's do it this way. Like so. And then I'm going to put this back because I don't have to waste it. I can stick it right back on and use it for another album or another project. Then, I love this that says number one fan. I want to see where I can put it. And this is two pieces. I don't want the bottom piece. I don't want that skinny piece. I just want this piece that says number one fan. Let's see where it can go. It'll look cute right here. And I'm going to put it kind of centered on this edge. That's really cute there. I'm going to tell you, I used to not buy the sticker packs. I used to not see a need for them. But when I started using them in these albums like this, I really discovered that I love the sticker sets. I think they're really, really handy. So if you're ever on the fence about buying them, I love them. I think they save us a lot of time and they get a lot of stuff done quickly. What I want to put on this busy, busy piece? Let me see. Oh, this is cute. It's a sticker that looks like a um, ticket. Let's put that there. Run it that way. That's cute. This is an awesome sticker. This one has a bunch of people um, play holding sports equipment. Not playing, but holding the equipment. I'm going to put it right here. And I'll show you in a second. It's probably hard for you to see it. There it is. So I'm going to cut that away at the edge. Now then, I'm going to stop with the stickers for there. Because what I'm going to do is save these stickers with my album. And then when I do all of my... Um, pictures. I put all my pictures inside. I'll have all my stickers. I could put one on the back, but I typically don't because that's where it sits and I don't want it to grab on anything. But what do you think? I think this was a super cute album. I love how those little pieces ended up making it look so clean and neat. Let me move this so you can take a look at it. But there you go. We ended up with eight full pages. And look at all this. So 16 places to put photos. And then all of our tags are in here. Got that one upside down. Let's flip that over just because so all of our tags are in there and they all say place photo here Isn't that cute i love this album and i gotta be honest it's quick and it's easy and it's something you could make for any old occasion anything i'm anxious to see what you guys do with this pattern be sure if you make one of these to share it with us over on my facebook page which is may may made it and so did i there'll be links below to all my social media and i would love to see what you do with this idea hey thanks so much for watching guys i'll see you on monday when we start christmas in july christmas in july runs all next week you'll have five videos from the 13th through the 17th is so excited i've already started getting everything ready and um, i'm ready to film the first one because it gets me into the christmas spirit thanks so much guys i will talk to you soon Bye bye